Hi, this is your host, Swapin Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again, Ben Singleman, co-founder of Lightstep. And today we are going to talk about, uh, you folks are announcing intelligent notebooks. So uh, tell us though, what exactly it is. Sure, um, thanks for having me. It's always great to be here. So Lightstep today is announcing um, our notebooks functionality. Uh, I, I think what, if I was to step back a minute, what we're really trying to focus on here is managing uh, complex multi-service distributed systems throughout the life cycle of an incident, right? So we recently announced Lightstep Incident Response, which is a second product in our portfolio, um, which allows us to have a soup to nuts approach to managing the life cycle of an incident from detection to notification all the way through to investigation resolution. But when we're getting into the investigation piece, the thing that we really need to be able to accomplish for our users who are you know, SREs and engineers who are managing these incidents, they need to have a place where they can investigate these issues collaboratively and um, by uh, digging into any aspect of their application, regardless of you know, where it was or what type of telemetry it's emitting. And what's, what's unique about Lightstep's approach to notebooks, I think, is that we're able to um, guide people through that investigation, again, through the entire flow without ever having to leave Lightstep. Uh, and they can also, um, they, they can have a guided experience from one type of data to another and from one service to another, um, given the uh, technology that we've built into the notebooks experience. I can dig into that in, in more detail, but I think people are getting drowned right now and are having trouble actually investigating things in a way that is um, collaborative and efficient. And notebooks, I think, in, uh, in the way that we've implemented them goes a long way towards resolving that. Right. Yeah, I, I do want you to go a bit deeper into uh, into it so that we do understand. We understand the problem area. We also know what you're trying to solve, but how you're doing it, uh, that would be great. Yeah, sure. So, I mean... Let me talk about um, how this often works, I think, you know, pre-light step, right? So typically people are alerted to something by their monitoring system, which is usually built around metrics. Okay, great. Um, for what it's worth, I think that piece makes sense. You should be using metrics to do a lot of your core monitoring. You then jump into some kind of chart that looks like a squiggly line. There's going to be some kind of spike in that chart. And then there's this immediate question of how to collaborate. Um, and to investigate this with other people. Because if it's a real incident, you're probably going to be bringing other people in as well. Um, now, um, notebooks are really helpful because it gives you a shared place to do that investigation. Where this gets special with Lightstep is that um, if you hit a wall with metrics, and you will, because with metrics, the only way you can investigate an anomaly with metrics is by filtering and grouping your metrics by attributes or tags. And um, that gets really expensive very quickly because the only way to do that is to add high cardinality tags and attributes to your metrics, which in turn creates a huge bill. But even if you do that, all you've done is, is turn one squiggly line into hundreds of squiggly lines, and you try to find the one that explains the anomaly. That doesn't, that's still not enough to really understand the issue. And people will then pivot over uh, to other technologies and other systems to do observability and, and to investigate that change. What's special about Lightstep's approach to notebooks is that we streamline, we streamline that entire process. Like we recently, uh, last year we announced Lightstep's change intelligence functionality, which allows you to find an anomaly in metrics, to just click on it, ask Lightstep to analyze that deviation. And we will find, even if we have to cross from metrics over to tracing, even if we have to cross boundaries from this service to one of its uh, descendants or something up above it in the stack, we'll do that analysis automatically. And that's also all built into our notebooks, our collaborative notebooks experience. So instead of having to like hit a wall with metrics and then pivot over into other tooling, Lightstep can guide you through that entire analysis, starting with metrics, moving over into an investigation of not just the tracing data, but the service dependencies that those that tracing data encodes and um, the sorts of workload changes and infrastructure changes that will result in the incident in the first place. And that entire thing, that entire investigation, it's collaborative, it's encoded in the notebook, and that becomes a shareable asset that's snapshotted for future analysis as part of a postmortem or in some incident review or otherwise, right? So we've, we've done a lot to package up what was previously like several different tools and a bit of a wild goose chase as you pivot from metrics over into the tracing workload. We've done that all within our notebooks uh, functionality, which 
I, I think really is quite powerful. Like um, that, that context, which is very expensive and we've removed it from the process. When you folks announced, you know, uh, change intelligence, we sat down and we talked about it, but it's been a while. So, uh, and since it's going to play a very critical role here. So if you can just remind our viewers uh, what it is, how it works, and, you know, once again, how notebooks are going to uh, leverage it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks for asking. So, I, I mean, I've been working on observability stuff, I'm embarrassed to say, for half of my life at this point. Um, I started working on this in 2003, basically. And... Um, uh, there's a lot of talk about observability and it's become kind of a hot topic, but the observability really has two pieces. One is core monitoring, which is very important. Observability is not just a new word for monitoring. Monitoring is just an important aspect of observability. So observability has to have really high quality monitoring built in. And so that's the place where you discover that something bad has happened. Um, so you're, you're monitoring things that you already know about, uh, that you know are important, and you want to understand early if they're going off track, right? So that's monitoring. Then the rest of, of observability, and this is the part that's really tough, is that when there is a change in your monitoring, you have to understand what caused that change. Understanding changes is the hard part of observability and where most people's observability strategies are falling short today. Um, these can be both reactive changes like we're talking about today with incident response. It can also be plan changes like CICD is an example of a plan change where you're intentionally changing your system and you want to make sure that you minimize risk and minimize the time it takes to make that change, right? But observability comes into understanding these changes. And what LightStep has done with change intelligence is to take essentially two workloads, um, a control workload, which is a baseline, and a deviation workload, which is when there's an anomaly or when you've made a release. And we understand not just the, the core signal of like, you know, what is, how, how is your monitoring changed, but we look across the entire distributed system to understand what has changed in your workload um, you know, for instance, if a single customer comes in and changes their workload by 100x, which often does happen in B2B applications, LightStep will detect that workload change if it is the reason why your uh, CPU your CPU load is spiked, your database is falling over. We'll detect that change dynamically. And what change intelligence is all about is guiding um, our users through the many, many different candidate signals, um, not just within the service that they started with, but across their entire distributed system. We guide them through these different hypotheses and we help them understand using data, um, which ones are most correlated um, and most explain the change that they are investigating. To bring this back to notebooks, notebooks will often start in some sort of incident investigation or trying to explain an anomaly. So you see something weird, you create a notebook out of that chart, and then you can go from there. And change intelligence is built into that workflow. So in LightStep, you can click on any sort of anomaly in one of those charts, and we'll bring you into that guided analysis of the entire system. I think the thing that we've found is that during an incident, it's not that you can't find correlated changes, it's that there are too many of them. If you're having an incident that's actually a major thing that's affecting your product, it's likely that that's causing issues up and down the stack, left and right in the stack, and so just merely saying, well, what else is changing at the same time is not sufficient. You need something that can actually help you understand the relationships and the cause and effect between these different pieces. And that's really what we've accomplished with change intelligence. And so building that into the, into the notebooks functionality streamlines that workflow considerably and in a way that I think is highly differentiated as well. It seems way too intimidating and too complex. How do you really simplify it, you know, so that once again, the teams are not getting overwhelmed by them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, so I, I think the the thing that people need they, they need <clears throat> excuse me they need two things one is um, some sort of intelligent ranking functions as I was saying there are a lot of things that go wrong at the same time and that's normal in a distributed system so you need an intelligent ranking function LightStep has built that we use um, LightStep at its core I think is the most sophisticated distributed tracing system that you know I've ever seen and I've been working on this stuff. Um, since the early days of distributed tracing. So we use that system and that technology to rank the various things that are going on and to bring the ones that are most relevant to the top. And then the second thing you need is evidence. I think it's actually not sufficient to tell people, hey, you know, um, something bad just happened. Um, you told us something bad just happened. Now here are the top 10 potential explanations and just leave it at that. That's really not that useful. The second piece of change intelligence is to actually bring out um, a diagram of this change before and after, a tabular view showing how, let's say for instance, that a single customer changed their behavior. 
we'll show you how did that customer change their behavior. They went from you know, 10 requests per second to 100 requests per second between these two different time intervals. Their latency increased by this much. Their error rate increased by this much. And then we'll also show you how did all the other customers behave during the same interval. So we'll allow you to see the data about how the, you know, the thing that we've pulled out compares to everything else. And these are the questions that you would normally be um, asking yourself subconsciously or otherwise, and then you go on kind of a wild goose chase to try to answer with bits and pieces of data. In Lightstep's case, we've analyzed many thousands of transactions to give you a solid statistical explanation for what's going on, always with the option to go and dig into individual examples. So in change intelligence, as part of notebooks, you can go from saying, I just got woken up, bring some people into the notebook, click on change intelligence, see a hypothesis about a customer changing their behavior, and see how that customer deviates from everyone else and see specifically what they're doing with very detailed distributed traces you know, built on top of open telemetry that tell you exactly what was going on. And that's one unbroken flow. You never need to bring out your query editor. You never need to write custom, custom queries. You never need to construct things from scratch. That's just by you know, clicking on the thing that's most interesting to you and getting some of that guided explanation. I think most, most of these workflows fall short for people because they're forced to go and write custom queries, which is really hard to do on a good day, but during an incident, it's impossible, or sift through lots of examples and come up with a hypothesis. Lightstep will sift through thousands of examples and come up with a data-driven hypothesis for you. And I think the, the, that, that, in my mind, is where a lot of the time savings come from and where we take a lot of the cognitive load out of incident management, incident response. I want to talk quickly about the business aspect because, you know, we talk about technology, which is good, but the, in the end, you know, once again, we are trying to solve a business problem. So can you also talk about what role does it play in the business decision? What kind of awareness you have seen about SREs or, you know, these things uh, which reflect to the, the customer success teams or, you know, it reflects directly on the businesses? so that we do understand the importance of it? Yeah, it's a really good question. I mean, you know, about a year ago, Lightstep joined ServiceNow. And although you know, we've maintained our own roadmap and our own engineering headcount and our, a lot of autonomy and growth within ServiceNow, we've also taken advantage of being part of their overall platform of platforms, right? So one of the things we hear a lot from customers, especially in, in large enterprise environments, is that you do have cloud-native organizations who need to use a tool like Lightstep and Lightstep, Lightstep Observability and Lightstep Instant Response to manage their applications. However, that's not the end of the story. There's also this central nervous system of the enterprise um, where you're doing major incident management, where you're managing relationships with key customers, things like that. And that depends on ServiceNow. And what's interesting about this is that um, as part of ServiceNow, what we're discovering in these cloud-native apps is automatically in the background harmonized and synchronized with that central nervous system of ServiceNow. And that has tremendous benefits um, in resolving the sort of business issues attached to this. Like what we hear a lot is that the IT operations function that depends on ServiceNow has, they have to manually create their own copies of incidents that are happening in cloud native applications uh, within their own organizations. And that's, it, it's, it's very error prone. It's also lossy uh, and pretty inefficient and introduces not just, you know, operational inefficiency, but even compliance risk. And so something that we're doing as part of ServiceNow is plugging all this back into ServiceNow platform so that it's harmonized with those business processes. You mentioned key customers, like we're also working with um, customers where, for instance, ServiceNow has a, a customer service product, CSM, um, that's used for customer-facing ticketing. Having Lightstep um, uh, plugged in uh, to ServiceNow allows us to, to drill into key customers of our customers, right? So an end user or a B2B customer can be having an issue. Lightstep can understand what's, what is the actual performance that customer is having and have that um, uh, proactively notify a customer service rep before it becomes a significant problem um, or even just to create a shared, uh, a shared source of truth about actual performance, reliability, et cetera. And that sort of outcome is really powerful from a, from a business standpoint and is something that we're able to do um, for, um, you know, as, as part of ServiceNow's platform of platforms. So I think there are a lot of business benefits to what we're doing well beyond um, the, the, um, the engineer or SRE 
who's on call using Lightstep to investigate that incident. All the work that they're doing is harmonized to that platform and made available to other business users. And, and that's really exciting to me. It's something I've wanted to see for a long time. Ben, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about yeah. intelligent uh, notebooks. And of course, you know, your insights there as well. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much.